Hello and welcome to History Adulan. This is Bhavarth Mandrikar and you are tuned with me for the new chapter from EVS 5th Standard. Students, what is EVS? EVS is nothing but environmental studies. And what is environment? Environment is what we see around us. So that is environment. There are different examples. Take an example, simple example. Where are you living? You live in your own house. So where you are sitting, share. What you watch at home, on, that is a TV. There is a radio, there is a refrigerator and lot many things inside your home. So this is what our environment, what we see around us is an environment. So along with that, when you go to the garden, what you see around your garden? There are benches, there is a seesaw, there are children who are playing in the garden, there is a lush green lawn and so many things. When you are traveling, you are traveling by car, you are traveling by your um, two-wheeler and there are so many things. So this is what around you. At the same time, there is a land, there is a water, there is a mountain, there is a sky. So all this is a part of our EVS environmental studies. So students, you will love this year studying environment of the fifth standard. When we say earth or the universe, that is also a part of our EVS. So earth is actually a sphere. Why it is a sphere? Because it is a combination of four spheres. The first sphere that is, let us remove land from the earth. So it is a litho land. It have a similar word, litho. So it is a litho sphere. When we remove water from the earth, aside, take it aside, it is called hydrosphere. Let us take air and the other things around it. When it take it out, it is called atmosphere. And besides that, there is a life on the earth like the wildlife, living life, animal, human being and all aquatic life. So this is called biosphere. So students, this earth is nothing but the combination of this four spheres. This year's CVS is divided into two parts, the two types. The first, living things and second, non-living things. Living is also called biotic and non-living is also called abiotic. Biotic are the things which have life. For example, you and me have a life. The animals around us, the pets like dog, cat, cattle, etc. The plants and so many things, the birds and animals. So they all have life in them. So they are called living beings or they are the biotic. And the second are the abiotic. What is that? The things which don't have the life. And what are that? The shirt you are wearing, the cloth, the toothpaste, the brush, TV, benches, and etc. So that don't have a life. So that is a biotic and abiotic or living and non-living. Students, same time, we all should be aware about the danger that is happening around us. What is that danger? We see floods, we see tsunami, there is a cyclone, pollution around us. So why this is all happening? It is happening because uh, we are destroying uh, our nature. We are creating danger to our own nature. We are exploiting our nature. So it is our duty, the nature, the mother earth is given to you and us by our forefather by our ancestors and it is our responsibility to maintain, secure, conserve and save it for the future. So students, this is our environment subject and this year this uh, book, an EVS book is divided into two parts, part one and part two. So there are all together uh, several topics and subtopics we are going to discuss and study in this particular book. So it's a very, very lovely book, interesting book, and you will surely enjoy this book. So keep tuned. Today, we are going to begin with the first lesson of EVS, and that is super senses. So what are the super senses? Super senses are five sense organs that human being and animals are having. It is amazing gift since we can see hear, smell, feel and taste. So let us see 
how some of the birds use their sense organ. We know that eagle eyesight is very sharp and can see from a distance of 8 kilometers. Eagle, kite, vulture can see four times better than us. Some birds have eyes on their front while some have on their sideway. The birds having eyes on the sideway help in focusing at two different things at a time. Birds ear are small hole covered with feathers while animals have small and big ears. Ants gather around food quickly and follow other ants through their smell. Female mosquito can find us through smell or heat of the body. Dogs do sniffing everywhere in order to mark their area. They can make out if other dogs entered in their area with the smell of their urine or potty. Police use dog in different type of investigation. So this is very useful animal for police. Smell may be good or bad. Whenever we pass near to the garbage dump, we need to close our nose because it is a very bad order. So there is a bad order. And same time, there is also good smell. And what is that good smell? Whenever something is cooked in the kitchen, we like the smell. The fragrance of flour or scents, we like the smell. So the smell sometimes good, sometimes bad. So which sense organ feels the smell? That is nodes. There are some animal like langur, dogs, birds. They warn other animals about the danger through warning sound. In December 2004, at the time of tsunami, tribal people of Andaman Island witnessed special behavior of animals and moved to safer places. So here is the picture. See carefully tsunami, then down dock, langur and bird. So these are the animal which also send signal of a danger. We have some animals like dolphin, birds and other animals having special language and understand each other. Why are lizards not seen during the winter season? Because they go on a deep sleep. Also, which animal sleeps 17 hours a day? And it's none other than sloth. Tiger is one of the most alert animal and having a danger of hunters and poachers. Who are hunters? Hunters are the people who hunt or kill animal to feed themselves. And who are poacher? Poacher are also people who kill animal in order to obtain or get the organs of animal like skin, teeth, and other. Its whiskers are sensitive and help in finding its way and prey in the dark. During the night time, whenever tiger is moving in around that time, its whiskers play important role and it is very sensitive in finding out the way and its prey in the night, in the dark. We know the roar of a tiger. Whenever tiger is in anger, he roars. While whenever wants to call a tigress, that time he snarl. So there is a difference between roar and snarl. Its roar can be heard three kilometers away. Tiger mark their area with urine and can identify presence of other tiger in his area. So these are the facts related to tiger. Now, 
Human being is a big threat, big risk for the life of animals. Elephant are killed for their tusk. Rhinoceros killed for horns. Tiger for skin and teeth. Snake for venom. And musk deer for scent. So this is elephant, rhinoceros, musk deer and snake. Students, like human being also is protected by the laws. Same way, government made laws also for animal. So animal protection laws in India. Government have put up a ban on killing of animals and since set up reserved forests, sanctuaries, national parks to protect wild animals. So along with the human being, animals are also treated equally and they gave a security protection to the life of animal. So students, this is our first lesson, super senses from environmental studies. So I request you, everyone to like this video, share this video, video and also subscribe it so that this video will reach to the other students. Thank you very much.